Um, we sell a lot of kites, new. Um, there's always a couple pointers I give to people when they buy them. Uh, just as far as the first time setting them up and all that stuff. Open this sucker up. Luckily I borrowed a few uh, cutting tools from Rockney here. We're just gonna, oh wait a second. Never use a knife on a kite box. Right? There's no knives allowed in the kite shop for this reason. Right? Instead, use a, a set of keys. Can't kite kites with keys. Can't cut kites with keys. And open it that way, right? Slingshot puts a piece of cardboard in to protect the kite from someone with a razor blade or whatever. Um, you just gotta watch it. Pull your kite out. Keep in mind that the colors on the box don't always match the colors on the kite in the same order. So if you got a specific color, just check to make sure that the color you got is the one that they ship. Um, and all of that, sometimes we ship brand new kites in different brand boxes. We recycle boxes because we're a green shop. Open it up, make sure and put do the right thing and take care of this so it doesn't blow around on the beach. There's a pocket on the, uh, the back here. I like to put the garbage until I get back home and then I'll throw it away. Finish unpacking this guy. Once again, take care of the garbage so it doesn't end up at your local beach. All right. So this is an eight meter rally. Um, the tips and tricks we're gonna give you for this will work with any kite. They're all very similar. We unpack a lot of new kites here, obviously. Right. So they fold it a bit different. They fold it in half and then roll it up. So we're gonna fold it all the way in half and then undo the whole thing. So every manufacturer puts um, warning labels and tags on their kites. Um, there isn't one on this kite, which is fantastic. If there is, like Cabrina has a ton of stuff on there. Um, peel it off. Right, the first time you close the deflation valve, this type of deflation valve, it's actually really sticky. So most people will kind of do that and call it good. See that gap right there? You want to make sure and push with your hand on the back side like this, close it all the way in like that, right? And it's going to be tough at first. It'll loosen up over time. First time's a bit tough. Secondary strap and you're all set. This is the new valve. This is kind of kiteboarding standard. There's a lot of companies that use this. So when you're screwing the, uh, the uh, deflate section, which is the middle section in, a good practice is to pinch right here so it can't shift inside. There is Velcro in there to allow it not to shift, but sometimes it does. Just make sure that's snug. It doesn't need to be super tight. Then I'm gonna undo the outside to actually inflate it. We're all set. So when you're inflating the, these kites for the first time, when they're shipped, this is crimped just a little bit sometimes, and this, and this rubber in here crimped shut like this. Um, so sometimes the, uh, one pump um, struts won't inflate. So I'll, I'll usually inflate it part way and then go through, so this one's crimped a little bit, you can see right there. Um, and then it massage that crimp out so that they inflate. There we go, see that's crimped a little bit. It's just a first time thing. After the first time, it's gonna be a non-issue, right? Crimp it, there we go, there we go, okay. And that's it, so we're ready to pump up. I'm gonna pump this up quick and then we'll go through the bridle setting. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the bridles. You can see these. Uh, these bridles, when they come new from the factory, are not preset into a lark's head, and they're loose on these uh, these lines here. Um, everything's kind of loose because it's never been loaded. So well, something we'll do for our local customers is the first time they go out, I'll actually um, load the kite up for them the first time on a harness, if, if they're worried about it, they're really new. Load it up, make sure everything's fine and trimmed, and then give it to them. I've never really had one be an issue, but if something's gonna happen, it's gonna happen that first time. So, right here, roll that line to make your lark's head the first time. You know, if you're gonna make a mistake, it's gonna be on a brand new kite. Get your lark's head going like that, and you're all set. You can check all these over. 
like I said, I mean, the kite industry is pretty good now as far as this kind of stuff. We don't really see them with any issues. But if you get a kite and you're not sure if it's new or not, an easy way to tell is see if these bridles are loaded. That's how we tell in the store. We get a return from somebody. If these are real tight, you can tell it's been ridden, right? Or at least flown. That's about it on the kite. Occasionally you'll have discoloration from the factory. All that discoloration is, it isn't a physical problem with the kite. It's uh, just transfer of colors from one, uh, one piece of Dacron maybe to the sail polyester. Um, if it was a human environment, that's why they put them in plastic when they ship them. So we'll go over the barn lines next, just a couple tips and tricks and go from there. This is the uh, Slingshot Sentinel bar, brand new. First thing we're going to do is remove some of the paperwork here. There's always something like this on there. Just get rid of it before you get too hot and heavy. Or next thing you'll know, you'll have your harness on ready for a launch. You'll still have your paperwork hanging off there. We've all seen the guy at the kite with their uh, warning label flapping in the breeze. I know I've done it. I'm still hooked to the kite. So take care of this so it doesn't end up on the beach. And we'll start uh, checking these out. So brand new, just like the kite. These lines should be unloaded, which means that the lark's head is loose on the pigtail. See how loose that is? That's how new lines look, right? This, should, this shouldn't be tight if they've never been flown. So we're gonna set these out, we'll walk them, and then we'll get started on uh, attaching and trimming the bar. So every bar in line is specific. Um, on the Sentinels, one thing you're gonna wanna check is this middle, um, uh, cylinder right here doesn't rotate. Some of the early models did. This should rotate, this should not. There's a set screw that should interface with that. You're good, this looks good. Should be loose, right? It's never been loaded. It's gonna stick down like that um, because it's it's uh, brand new and no one's ever loaded the lines. Eventually, when you load it, you'll pop through there, come all the way up, and that knot should actually interface up under the lines here, right? Just like that. Um, but because this is a brand new bungee, it's gonna pull it down. Don't worry about it, it's no big deal. So on this bar, there's no stopper ball. Um, we've had issues with people getting these bars from China and they have the stopper ball set super low. So if they were to fly without moving the stopper ball, you wouldn't be able to depower the bar very much. Um, this is one of the newer Sentinels, so it has the stopper um, interface uh, installed right here. That just keeps this in one spot. You can adjust this if you want. Just take that out. You can move it up and down. People were adjusting it too much. Um, when you got a new bar and line set, I always start with the D-Power all the way out. This is not how you keep the D-Power. D-Power all the way out should look like this. Right? You should have that cam engaged on the rope. That's fully powered. Riding like this, if you had a, um, a break of the plastic here, or uh, maybe a pull of the screw at the end, it's gonna slip and give you a ride, right? But if it's interfacing, that cam cleat's, cleat's interfacing on the line, um, there's a less chance of you doing that. So walk these out. These look like they're in great shape. You know, everything we kind of talked about. If you guys have questions, specific questions about specific bars, uh, post them in the comments of this video and we'll cover them, it's no big deal. We just happen to pick a slingshot kite. If anybody's interested in buying the uh, Rally 8 meter we have here, um, it's a demo now because we broke it out. So just hit us up either in the shop or via the email or via the email or via the, the uh, video and we'll get it packed up for you, no big deal. Thanks guys, have a great day. Thank you.